Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of how to make money outside of mapping. And today we're going to be talking about a tool that is actually the most helpful tool that you can get and use in this whole game. And I think anyone who's going to be doing a lot of trading needs this application. There are different ones out there. I'll give you a link to all the different um, add-ons that you can use with Path of Exile. That will be down in the description. Um, this one, we're actually going to be focusing on Mercury Trade. Um, you might think, well, Mercury Trade was good like two years ago, but it hasn't been updated since. Well, there's actually a Community Fork version, which is also down in the description below. And that's what we'll be going over today. Um, it's done by Morph, and he is actually updating them and actually will fix problems that happen within the program. So he is actively upkeeping that, and it's one of the most helpful programs that I know of. So let's just kind of see what it does. What it does is it basically will show up for, let's say, you are purchasing something. So, for instance, this one is a pain breaker for 43 chaos. We could buy this item. It sends it to that person. If that person invites us to party, we can then click the home button and it will send us to their actual hideout. Don't have to worry about typing it in. You don't have to go over to the name, right click, visit hideout or click the blue circle or whatever you want. It's one button right on the actual box that'll get you right there. Same thing with the trade. Um, if he doesn't open up a trade after a long time or you really want to, you know, go quickly and kind of forcefully, which I don't recommend doing when you're doing trading, you can hit the trade offer. And then um, you can also leave the party as well. Okay, same thing for um, an incoming message. It's going to tell you what you're going to get and what they're going to be buying. And you can add them to party immediately with the invite to party. It'll invite them into the party. They can then accept. And then you can trade from here and they're good to go. On the bottom down here are actually the uh, quick replies. So you don't have to type out if it's already had there. So I have ones that are like, uh, you know, give me a minute. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, sorry, this item sold out. Um, I'm out of currency and a thank you message. These are all customizable. You can have them exactly how you want them in any order you want to. And we'll go over that in just a minute here. You also have this little button right here where you can actually message a person. I'll bring up the chat with that person's name already into the message and you can type in whatever you want. Quick and simple. If you're like, oh, I, I forgot like what they said, you can actually pull up that window over here and it'll say exactly what they said before. So, you know, that's kind of the cool things. If they don't ever add like, you know, accept your party, you can click the still interested. It will send you. Are you still interested in this item for this price? So let's say that, you know, you do have this. You can go over to your stash. If we pull up an item here, so we add them to party. It will then tell you which stash tab it's in over up on the top here and it'll highlight the item for you. You don't need to be searching through your inventory to try to find out, well, where's that, you know, uh, Colossus Stingium Vise that's from, you know, in one of my 500 tabs. It'll tell you exactly what tab it's in and when you highlight over it, it'll tell you exactly the location. Super helpful for any trades, makes it super fast and it's great. Okay, so that's basically the whole concept of this program. It's going to help you with incoming and outgoing trades to make it so everything is in one location so you don't have to worry about anything else. So this bar right here, you can you know select where you want it to be, but this is going to be your kind of like help tool here. It's always going to be here in a short form and you can locate it anywhere you want. So you just hit this little thumbtack pin right here it's going to show you all the location of where you are. So you want your notification panel, you know, over on the top right. You can move it over there. You want it down on the bottom or, you know, you want it like right here. You can put it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. I like mine about right here. And then our task bar here, which is that small bar. You can have it wherever you want. I usually like mine down on the bottom. And then you lock it. We're going to keep it up here just for now. The other one that's really important is hitting the grid icon. So you need to make sure that your stash tab is open. You're going to hit the grid icon and you're going to resize the grid to however your, you know, your stash tab is so that it lines up and then you're going to click save. 
And then that way, whenever an incoming message comes in for a certain item, it'll automatically highlight to the correct location. The other one that's really important is the settings. You can change these however you want. The most important ones are actually going to be in the notification panel in the incoming and the outgoing notifications. So in the incoming notifications, you want to have your response buttons. So this is where you get to put in what the label is going to be and then what it says when you click that button, it will automatically put it to that person. This check mark means it's going to close that window. Okay, it's going to close it after you say it. So if I have one that says no thanks, uh, sold or, you know, I'm out of currency, then it's going to automatically close that window and get it out of my way. So I don't have to click this uh, quick little hotkey and the, you know, X button to close out of the window. You just click this once and it closes it automatically. I don't have it on my thank you one because sometimes people do the trade and then I do the accept or I say like thank you and then I realize that they didn't actually accept the trade because they didn't count it right or maybe I miscounted and so I leave that there that way I can get rid of them after okay it also another reason for that is so that I can also kick them out of the party because if you aren't kicking people out of the party and you're doing mass trades like we were talking about with the currency flipping you're gonna be in a big problem because you're not gonna have space for all the new trades coming in. So make sure that you, um, you know, have this unchecked so that way you can kick them from the party and then get them out. Um, same thing right here, close panel on kick button, which is the negative sign, which we showed you before. Uh, make sure there's a check mark there. That way it kicks them out of the party and they're good to go. Um, we're gonna go back to the notifications. Uh, that's the incoming and the outgoing is gonna be the exact same way. Um, you can have, you know, your thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, please. So on this one, I do have them um, kicked out because I'm not actually creating the party. So I can't kick them out of the party that I didn't create. Um, so close panel on leave press button, you can do that as well. Those are like the main things that you need to have on here. Everything else kind of however you want it to be. Um, if it's not working, you know, you just have to do your open your test. It's gonna bring up this box. You can click any one of these. Um, you can get bulk maps on here. You know, all these fun things on here. There's lots more that we can go into, but this is pretty much the basis of it. It's basically to help you for incoming messages like this one and outgoing like this one here. Okay, it's very easy, very simple. It pops up. It's not like crazy complicated. Um, all of these boxes are adjustable, so you can make them smaller if you want to. You can make them huge. You know, you can kind of adjust it to wherever you want it to be in your personal style. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Um, so I highly, highly recommend getting this one. Um, if you don't want to do this one, you could do a trade uh, macro or there's also a POE overlay that also went that went to uh, Overwolf. Um, there's different ones that you can use. Um, like I said, it's going to be in the description down below in the link and you can use any of those programs. The only thing I do have to say about these programs is that do not modify them. Use it only as it is set up and only as intended the program originally was. Do not modify it. Very, very important. This will help your trading, especially when you have currency trading. You're going to have like 10, 15 of these coming in at once sometimes and you won't be able to keep track. So it's gonna fill up, okay? So you wanna prioritize, it's gonna show you exactly how much currency you're gonna be getting, how much you're gonna be need to paying out, etc. All that's gonna be there, and that's it. So I hope this helped you. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding the bell for more um, videos, which will be coming out in the next coming weeks. And until next time, guys, peace out.